What are your expectations for this year? Do you feel good? You ready to roll? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm ready. You know, uh, uh, I've been working hard. Uh, I, I just want to lose a little bit of weight. Uh, and, yeah, as you know, I'm, I'm excited to go, go again, you know, to compete. Now, obviously, your first half of the season, you were as good as any pitcher in baseball. Second half, there was a fall off. People talked that maybe you were tipping pitches. John Flaherty was on. He said, you know, that's the second year after pitching 200 innings. What was it, the second half fall off? Uh, I mean, it could be both. You know, uh, we're not perfect. Maybe I was tipping pitches. Maybe, you know, I was going to retire. But uh, the good thing is uh, that I finished strong, you know, and I'm ready for this season. Uh, uh, I was I'm working, I'm working, and that had no that don't happen again. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what exactly are you working on? Uh, I think my physical. I've uh, been eating well, well, well than than the last year. Uh, and my training, you know, uh, I think that will help me more. You know, maybe not get tired, maybe work more in my 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 shoulder or or my my leg to not get tired in that part of the season. Now, the tipping of the pitches, for us, uh, you know, we're, we're not on the field. We don't understand it the same way. Can you explain to us what you might have been doing and that you're working on that to not do? Uh, I was uh, watching some videos. Uh, they told me that with me and second, uh, before I go to home plate, I was tapping and look at third. Mm -hmm. when I, I was throwing the breaking ball. Mm -hmm. And when I was throwing the fastball, I was uh, going straight home. So that, you know, I thought about it, and that, you know, everybody can see that. So uh, I would work on that, I need to work on that, is that the problem? But I think I got to go in the face before this. When you first watch it is, it, is it something you were ever aware of that you no. do all the time? I just think it's so interesting because it's just a habit that randomly yeah. forms. Exactly, it's not at all. When I watch it, I say, oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not aware of it. You know, when, I, when I'm watching you pit, and like in the first half, I, I used to just sit there and go, they, they have no chance. They have no chance against you. And then all of a sudden, in the second half, when they're laying off sliders that they shouldn't have been laying off, did that make you think, too, why, why are they taking that pitch? Yeah, of course, a little bit. But, you know, sometimes you think uh, maybe he's taking that pitch. Maybe he, they know that a slider is coming or stuff like that. You never know. Maybe when you, when you uh, see that, maybe four or five times you may, may, may think about it but now you know the first time last year expectations were high as well and we had dd on and he's like i feel like we have to win like that was his attitude i mean do you do you feel that way coming off a hundred win season improving during the off season do you, is it the sense of not only do we we think we can win we have to win this division i think we have the team you know i think everybody is prepared uh uh, we have been close, you know, uh, last year, uh, the, last year we, we lose against Red Sox, they won the World Series, the year before against Houston, they won the World Series, so I think we're ready, and, and, we, and like you say, we have to win, you know, we have a good team, uh, we got a good staff, and, and we're ready for it. What do you think the acquisition of Paxton and having Hap the whole year, what's that going to mean to the pitching staff? Oh, I'm so happy about that, you know, yeah. we got to... <laughs> Uh, we got two good lefties. Uh, actually, me uh, passed him like uh, a week ago. He's a great guy, and he's a great pitcher. You know, a strikeout pitcher. Ha did a good job we, since we got him. So I think uh, they're gonna help us a lot. What did it, What did it mean to you guys, particularly the pitchers, to find out CC was coming back? That was amazing. You know, uh, for me, CC is the leader of the of the pitching staff of the team. You know. Uh, that the guy that, that when we need some advice, we go to him, you know. He has been in the game for a long time, so if we need to ask anything about maybe playoffs or any situation, he's the guy that we have to go. When he had that moment, when he decided to throw, who did he throw out again, Michael? He, uh, he threw at a guy who, um, who uh, the day had thrown at somebody, and then he threw two innings short of, like, his final. Right, when, when, when he made the decision to throw at the guy in spite of the fact of coming up short, knowing he'd lose his bonus, was that... Uh, was but that, the Yankees uh, gave him the And bonus. the Yankees did, in the yeah. end, give it to him. Was that something that... Did the team all rally around that and pat him on the back for that? Did you guys know it was happening? I didn't know. I didn't know after it happened. I mean, that was tough decision. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of money. <laughs> that is a lot of money. That is a lot of money. But uh, when, when you do that, you got uh, the respect from everybody. You it know? was Jesus Sucre that he hit. Sucre. Yeah, yeah. But 
I got to there was a lot of money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that means something to a team because you know that's a lot of money, and he still did it. It's like he didn't even care because he wanted to protect his teammates. Of course, yeah, like I say, he already had a uh, respect, but do something like that, it's amazing. Like, what you have to do, you know? You have to just, you know, take care of people, you know, take care of the team, and that's what he did. Well, we had Jerry Remy on before, former Red Sox, Red Sox broadcaster. He said it's going to be hard for the rivalry to be as great with the Red Sox and Yankees like it was 30, 40 years ago because the players really did hate each other. Do you hate the Red Sox or do you, or do you just look at them as that, that's our competition? But is there a hate between the players and the teams? No, I don't hate anybody. So <laughs> that's, you know, it's a competition. Yeah. You know, that, that's the way it is. Uh, they're one of the best team in the league, and we are one of the best team in the league. So when we when we face each other, you just want to play hard and try to win. Is it true that Pedro Martinez helps you out a lot? Yeah, yeah, he's. Uh, you know, he played for the Red Sox, Don. No, oh, I'm from <laughs> yeah. the Mets in the building. <laughs> he's a really nice guy, out of the field and in the field. You know, uh, when I had my my 2016, I was you know, bad season. He helped me with a lot of stuff that. Uh, I put it in, in, in the game, and, you know, I'm a different preacher after that. What was Boone like in his first year? Did you like playing for Boone? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, he's a great guy. He's a great manager, you know. I like the way that, that he communicates with the, uh, with the players. You know, he's, I hope uh, he say more. Now, I, I look at this team, and I go, there's one guy, and we, we brought this up earlier. If he can have the season we think he's going to have, that makes the Yankees so much better, and that's Gary Sanchez. Do you think he's going to have a bounce back season? Of course. I think this is this year is a year for him. You know, uh, I always said to him that the second year is the toughest year in the big leagues. Mm -hmm. And that, that, that happened to him. You know, uh, he's not the first guy. He's not going to be the last. So we just need to forget about that and keep working. Pace of play is the topic of conversation, rule changes, a, a pitch clock. Would you want to have a certain time that you have to throw the ball? Would that bother you? I don't care if they have a clock or not. Uh, I was just a guy that they give me the ball, I throw the ball. So I don't need a lot of time uh, to, you know, prepare. Does it mean something to you? I remember two years ago we would have conversations about uh, about the Yankees and who is the ace of the staff. And then early during this season, Michael, and obviously it's relevant coming from him, him being the, the voice of the Yankees, he said the Yankees have their ace. It's Severino. Does it does it mean something to you to have guys like Michael Kay and people refer to you as the ace of the staff? Of course, you know Michael is a great guy. He's always been with us. You don't have to lie because he's sitting next to you. <laughs> yeah. It's a great guy. What I have to say? <laughs> well, now you think he's a it's great so guy. It's so obvious. <laughs> I I, I got to well, before be, I got everybody's out here in this audience right now. I mean, I've known I've no, I've known Louis since he came up. Does he look like a movie star right now or what? <laughs> he does. I don't think looks you know like he's going to look the look Oscars. Like, I, mean, you know, I mean, the guy looks great. <laughs> if you're not watching on TV, he's got a black vest on, this really nice coat. It's like a camo. It's like a gray, <laughs> black camo. <laughs> a lot tremendous. of manalyzing today for Michael, I'm right? I'm telling you, he looks tremendous. <laughs> I thought I looked good today. I look like crap compared to him. So this is better than Flaherty's shirt. This is much better than Flaherty's shirt. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, do you set goals for yourself? Okay, I'm winning 20 games, and uh, is, I, know, I know obviously you want the team to win a World Series, but do you have personal goals? I really don't care about wins. I just care about uh, being healthy all year. Uh, I have been saying this for like two or three years. I want to get to 200 in it. Mm -hmm. you know, that, that's my goal for the year, you know. I think any pitcher that can get to that level, I think they had a good season. It must be frustrating, though, because, I mean, frustrating but good. The Yankee bullpen is so great, yeah. and it's going to be better this year. You don't have to pitch seven innings each start because the bullpen's so good. I mean, it's true. You know, we have a good uh, uh, bullpen. But, but you can rest them if yeah, you go course, seven. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, if I, wanna, if, if I want to get to 200 innings, I need to get be better than the relievers, you know. Mm -hmm. Maybe every time I go there, I try to get a zero, you know. Right. Is the biggest challenge to get the 200 innings the, the fact that guys strike out so much, right? Nobody puts anybody, it's either a home run or a strikeout. It takes a lot of pitches to strike guys out. So would the path to 200 innings maybe get guys to swing and put it in play earlier in the at-bat? I mean, I just want to get everybody out. Right. I mean, but I, I could say it's going to be tough because everybody is a strikeout or a homer. So, and every time they give me the ball, I throw like 200 pitches. So, it's going to be tough for me too. 
You you mentioned you don't care about wins, you care about 200 innings. Last year there was a ton of conversation about how much did wins matter. Did you believe last year when we got down to that uh, to the race for the best pitcher in baseball for the Cy Young Award? Did you believe that Jacob Degrom was the best pitcher in baseball in spite of his lack of wins? Yeah, he was the, the best guy. You know, uh, like I said, uh, for me, win doesn't matter. You know, if you win, you're cool. But you no, know, he was amazing the whole year. But you can't control what you think is gonna do. So you throw the ball, if they don't catch it or they're not hitting, that's not your problem, you know? You have to focus on your, on your game, and that's what I did. Is there a pitcher out there right now in the American League that you go, yeah, he's he's great? I mean, I admire everybody. Uh, every time Jacob the is in the mound or uh, uh, Justin Berlander, Gary Cole, all that guy, I, I just see, you know, and watch the right. pitch because uh, I think we had like a little bit similarity, so I can I can watch and maybe I can learn something.